Yo, what's up, baby? It's Forty from Can't Stop Art. Today we're going to make a pop art style background, and uh, let's get started. So right here, I have a nine by twelve canvas board. I'm gonna flip it over, score it with my Exacto blade, and take the plastic off. You know the drill, no? <laughs> so what we're going to do with this canvas board is we are going to basically cover it in newspaper. I have some newspaper over here and uh, I have a foam brush right here. We are going to use Mod Podge, which is like a, it's like a crafting glue, if you will. This is the family size, <laughs> one gallon, 128 fluid ounces. So what we're gonna do is first give this a base uh, covering of the Mod Podge, then we will start to layer on some of this uh, newspaper. There we go. We might not even need necessarily this much. We'll come here, pa, 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 pa. Happy Friday for those of you who are watching this on the day it will be released. So let's grab this um, tape right here just to elevate this. And I'm trying to get the whole thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. However, we don't want it to be that thick. So what I'm gonna do is grab a some paper towels and I'm just gonna pick up some of this excess, right? There we go. So now that I've got some of the excess, I will actually put it inside one of these newspapers. I throw away in a minute and I'll come back here and I will try to thin this out so it's not too thick of a layer. If it's too thick, you're gonna have bubbling underneath the newspaper and we don't want that, right? So, now that I've hit basically what I think seems to be most of it, all of it, etc., I'm going to put this uh, in a paper towel. Let's grab a paper towel. I'm put that right there. And then I'm going to take some newspaper and I'm going to start laying some pieces here. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? And as far as like uh, going over the sides, that's totally fine because we're gonna come and we're gonna trim it in a bit, right? Next one, you have a few pieces down, right? Let's take one more piece right here. When we have these few pieces down, we could go ahead and grab some more glue because if we put another piece that covers this and there's no glue on these, it's not going to stick. So I'm not gonna put that much, just a little bit, and this way I can get on top of these pieces some Mod Podge, which will allow me to add other pieces, right? So there we go there. There we go there. It doesn't have to be that much. The idea is that we are creating uh, the ability for the other newspapers that are then layered on top to have something to stick to, right? because if we just put it on top of this other newspaper, then it's not going to, uh, it's not gonna stick, right? Because there was no glue on top. Even though this is quite thin, you could technically do it and some will seep under, but you'll have bigger ripples, I think. So, okay, there we go. Let's grab some more newspaper. Let's turn the page. How about this page? It doesn't really matter because the idea is not necessarily that people are gonna be reading this stuff, right? Come on, baby, great. All right, so let's take this and put right here like that. And notice some of this, this is upside down compared to the other ones. That's okay. We'll do some that are right side up, maybe like this. There we go. And again, like I said, I'm not worried about going over the sides. Let's get some more down in here, maybe. Maybe like, like that. And we need some more glue down there. There we go. That looks like it's sticking kind of. Maybe a little bit of glue here. 
it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to put a layer of mod uh, podge over everything anyway. So let's add some more. I'm not sure where we're at with it, so I'm just giving it. And again, this now this point is very light. We're not going for anything too thick. We're just trying to coat everything. Now, if you look, if you do it too much, this is newspaper, right? You can mess up this newspaper. <laughs> so be careful how much you are working. The brush on top of the newspaper. There we go. That was way too much. But what we'll do is we will just leave that for a second. Let's grab some more newspaper. Maybe this piece right here. Maybe like that, there we go. And then maybe let's take some glue, put it right here. Cause then we can just put one piece like this. Right, and then seal that puppy in. We need another piece uh, over here. We're gonna take like a portion of uh, an image, right? And we need to thin it out right there before we lay this on top. Maybe something like that. And we miss a spot there, but that's okay. We're gonna come back for you, baby. So, ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. There's a piece, or we need to put something in the corner right there. There we go. And then we can even put some glue on top. Something like that. We are gonna cut the excess off. So let's come over here, get some Mod Podge going there. Ba, ba, ba. We need to put something right here. So let's take another sliver like this. Boom. Put some glue on top. There we go. And like I said, we're gonna trim the sides. So I think we need uh, something over here. I see a person's face right here. I don't know who this is, but they are now part of this piece. <laughs> there we go. Once it starts to stick a little bit, then you can move the, the brush more freely. And so, now we don't really have too much excess up there. It's looking good. Everything looks like it's down. There we go. We do need to hit there and there. So let's take another one of these pink colored pieces. Let me make sure there's enough glue right there. And we are gonna go like this, boom. There we go. Putting enough on top. All right, and we need one more spot there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's a bunch of glue in this sponge now, so that's why I'm not pouring more, is I just press down and the excess glue is coming out, and there we go. So, that looks like we've got it. Maybe we add like one more piece here, just because maybe we want some other color, right? So here there's somebody on their bike, but it's not even the full, like, uh, the full image, right? Which we have right here, the guys on the bike, but that's cool, we're adding some differences, that's the idea. So we got all that excess glue out, we wipe it on, that piece is now on. So here we go, this thing, and notice right here, it's a little bit wet, I touch it with my finger, and what happened is I lifted some of this uh, newspaper, which then, obviously, that you could see through. So I'll just take another piece right there and boom, let's just put this on to fix that. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is let this dry, right? So this will take like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, it should be dry at that point. Then we can work with it again. We can either put another layer of Mod Podge, but I think we will cut all the excess that's hanging over the sides after it dries. So we're gonna give it about 30 minutes. We're gonna let it dry. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna cut the excess. We'll put one more layer of Mod Podge and then we'll continue because I've, I've, I've made a stencil for this 
and the stencil is this Louis Vuitton uh, style background. We're gonna spray that on top, add some splatter, and then this is going to be our background for a piece we will do tomorrow. All right, guys, I'll be back as soon as this dries so we can cut the excess and uh, put another layer of, layer of Mod Podge. And we're back. So this thing's been drying for like an hour, hour and a half. It's still a little tacky. If I put my fingers on this, I can still feel the stickiness of the glue. Not a lot, but uh, close. Some areas are perfectly flat. You see a few ripples here. It's okay, right? So I'm gonna take my X-Acto blade and I'm gonna try to score and uh, remove a lot of this uh, excess, right? I'm actually going against the edge and it's not gonna come off clean probably, you know? And that's okay. Even here. Oops, we don't need it all the way up there, my bad. There we go. And we lost a little bit right here, but we'll paint a border on this so it won't matter. And this I cut already. There we go. I'm gonna spin this to the side and let's work on this side. Maybe it will be easier actually if I come here. Well, I don't know which is the best way. Let's try it like this. Just holding this piece and then kind of sawing. There we go. And when we get, there's a secondary piece, you have to saw a little more. That's all right. And again, it's okay if it's a little jagged on this side, we can hit this with some more Mod Podge in a second. And here we go. There we go. So we almost got the second side off. Stabbing myself with the exacto. you know how I do. <laughs> and anywhere where it's still kind of wet, like right here in the corner, it may be, uh, it's harder to cut, right, with the glue. So here, the, the dry paper, much easier to cut. Last side, cut right there, sweet. All right, so after I finish cutting this, what we'll do is we will hit this with another coat of Mod Podge. And when that dries, then we will add some elements to our background, right? Let's see. It's partially, I don't know if wet's the right word, but it's sticky right there. So it's a little bit tougher to cut. And I don't know, let's see if how well you can see. This is not perfect, right? And it looks like we missed a piece here, I guess, because it was folded. So let's come over here. Let's score the side. And let's see if it comes up. Yeah, there we go. Take that piece right there. All right. So we only have a few more pieces. Let's try to get that real quick. Take that. Almost done. Then we're going to turn it around, make sure by looking at the back. And I guess technically you could also just come here and rip like this, right? Because like I said, it's okay if it hangs over just a little bit, because if we hit it with the glue, then we can glue this part, these parts down, right? And so that way they're kind of um, stuck to the canvas board on the sides, right? So there we go. We turn it over, more or less, we did a good job. This is pretty good. It's relatively dry, just a little tacky, that's fine. Let's add another coat of Mod Podge and maybe like that. That might be a little thick, but it's okay. I'll take the excess with my finger. Close the cap, grab a paper towel. There we go, I have a new foam brush here. It's difficult to use the same one because when the glue dries, then that foam brush is no longer able to be used. So, but I think for like 25 of these, it's like 10 bucks, so. And actually I've made two of these, even though you're only seeing me make one in the video, I've made two because I'm gonna do two different paintings on them. And I figured since I'm already doing this, why not? Let me hit the side here. What would be cool actually is when this is done to resin it, but I think I'm out of resin. So, and it's hard to get certain things with this lockdown right now. So, 
I'll give it a look. We'll see if I can re-up the resin. There we go. I think you can get in small quantity. The problem is uh, it's such a ripoff in small quantity. If you don't buy the bulk, then what's the point? <laughs> anyway, and I think it's easier to get in the U.S. than it is over here. Because, they, well, it depends on what brand you like, you know? There we go. Look at that. We've got one more time hit this side right here. Put some extra glue right there. Bam, bam, bam. Right here, some glue. All right, so that looks pretty good. Probably give it like an hour and a half or so. It should be dry, maybe two hours max. At that point, when it's completely dry, then I'm gonna go ahead and take this Louis Vuitton stencil that I made, and we're gonna spray the design on top of this one, as well as the other one, and I'll just use different colors, and then we'll hit it with some splatter, and this background will be done. All right, we'll be back. And we're back. So this puppy is dry, yo. And if I touch it, it is quite dry. I just did a workout and figured, let me do the next step of this because I decided instead of just uh, spraying it with the Louis Vuitton logo, let's put a glaze on this, right? So I grabbed a uh, palette. I've got a brush here. I've got a little thing of water and I've got a few colors. First, you gotta pick what color glaze. A glaze basically is a thin layer of color, right? That is transparent or semi-transparent. So what I'm thinking is probably we will do a, I don't know, how about a blue and an orange, right? It's gonna be quite, uh, we don't need a lot of color, right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of color here and let's take the orange and do the same. And I'm gonna move it a little bit away from the blue because we're gonna use the palette to mix some water. The idea is that we're gonna take this brush, we're gonna dip it in quite a bit of water, and we are going to dilute this paint quite a bit. So I'm moving the, let me put it right here so you can see. And I'm gonna get this brush wet, quite wet, I'm gonna wipe it on the side of this uh, water container, right? And then I'm gonna grab some blue, right? And I don't know if you can see right here, but it's quite diluted. I'm just trying to get the, the brush to soak up some of this, right? And I'm gonna paint up and down here. And now I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but it's a very light amount of blue. So I'll pick up some more paint. Now this paint right here, see, is is quite a bit of paint. So when I brush this, you're gonna see the blue, but there's a lot of water on the canvas and we're going somewhere in the halfway point, right? So something like this. Now, because there's so much water, if I hit this with the heat gun, it should dry really fast, right? Because water will get evaporate quickly. So let's do that. So this is, it's not totally dry, but it's, it's much, much more dry. Maybe this is not enough, right? So we grab some more blue and we come here and we paint this on and something to this effect. Now we've got a nice blue glaze that went over this side. Cool. If you want more, grab more paint, do more, right? But the idea is just to make this a little more interesting, right? Uh, so next, we're gonna take the orange. Now, we could clean this brush, and we probably should, right? So grabbing some paper towels. And when I say clean it, actually, I'm just gonna put it inside the paper towel, and I'm gonna pull as much paint off as I can, and we're gonna grab the orange. Because remember, it was quite diluted, and I don't think we have to worry too much. Again, I'm gonna grab some water, drop the excess, come here. There we go, maybe too much water. So, come here with the orange, and definitely it looks like too much water, but it's okay. Well, there we go, see, look how much paint is right here. And maybe that's okay, but let's pick up some water, move this paint around. And because what we can do now that we've started this glaze on this side, and this, this canvas board is propped up with a piece of tape underneath, or not a piece of tape, <laughs> a roll of tape, right? So I'm trying to make this relatively straight. You know, one thing that we cannot do right now is mask it, right? 
So orange and blue are uh, complementary colors, right? So they work together. I suggest if you do something like this, you pick complementary colors. Like maybe if you did red, do red with green. You do blue with orange. You can do yellow with purple, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, okay, here we go. That looks pretty good. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, there's gonna be a character over this. But so, okay, here we have this. Now, maybe another thing that we can do before we let this dry, because we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna blast it with some spray, is maybe what we can do is dry this a little bit and take some of this uh, warm gray just to get make it more grungy or grimy. Boom. I don't know if you could notice, I was having some issues because the cord is plugged into something that's plugged into the light and everything is getting pulled in different directions. Not that you guys care about that. <laughs> anyway, so let's kind of clean this brush off with this, uh, with this. Now, we are going to take this warm gray, we're gonna put it on the palette. Let me see if I can bring the palette more into frame. Maybe not, because I don't wanna put it over the wet stuff right there, the wet spot. <laughs> Let's put it right here. We don't need a lot. The idea is that we're just gonna put a few scratches in here, right? Do I have another brush? Let me grab another brush real quick. All right, we're getting crazy. I went and grabbed a number two uh, filbert, and I also went to grab some copper ink, okay? The copper ink plus this straw, we will do that too. We're really getting crazy here, yo. So, as I dropped the straw on the floor. So what I'm gonna do is take this brush, put it in the water, wipe off the excess. We don't really want this that wet, right? And I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna just paint in some different uh, grays, like, uh, I don't know if you would call it scratches, but we're just trying to muddy or grunge this up even further to make it look more worn, to make it look less perfect. And as you can see, it pulled some orange paint, put it here, but it's okay, right? Because the, they're complementary colors, they work together. It's not gonna cause us much problems. And again, we're just picking up some gray, dab, dab, dab. You know how we do. And something like that. It was just to give it a little something extra. I need to clean the brush, but I'll do it in a second. I have this ink here, I'll shake it up. I'm gonna open it. This particular uh, brand of ink is from Liquitex and it has an eyedropper. So if I just put like, for example, wow, I don't know what's going on here. I actually don't want it thick. What's up with that? There we go, we just wanted the ink. There we go. And we're just gonna put it in a couple spots. And I'm not putting it in the center. And the reason for that is because there's going to be a, Subject in the center. I'm gonna use this straw and I'm going to blow the ink around, right? So We have to be careful with this. I'm gonna try I'm gonna bring this closer to me just in case the splatter goes that way. I don't want to hit the monitor There we go. I got paint over everything including the workout clothes All right, so maybe something like this. I don't know, uh, this congealed <laughs> ink, I guess it's because it hasn't been shaken in a while. I don't know. So let me just try to clean some of this copper ink that flew around. And I think, I mean, we could keep going, right? We could hit more copper ink. We could bring some more of the gray, but I think let's just leave it, right? It looks super cool already. And what we're gonna do is make sure this fully dries then I'm gonna take it outside, I'm gonna spray it with the Louis Vuitton uh, stencil, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll add splatter, maybe I won't. I haven't decided yet. Originally I said I was gonna do it, but then I didn't plan on doing the glaze with the copper ink and whatever, so let's see, right? All right guys, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're outside on my balcony. I've got this stencil here, right? I have a uh, adhesive, repositional adhesive here. And I've got the canvas, which I think is dry. Yeah. So what we're first gonna do is spray this stencil, right? Try to hold the corner. I'm gonna, it will be out of view, but uh, I'm basically, I'm spraying this on one side. Now, 
after I've sprayed it, I'm going to try to let it dry. Not dry, but just give it a second, huh? I can blow on it. All right. So this stencil, I think, is 9 by or 12 by 12. And this thing is, well, roughly. But the thing, canvas is 9 or, yeah. It's 9 by 12. So anyways, trying to center this. Then I'll press it down. I have the canvas actually sitting on top of a tiny piece of wood. So I got this smushed down more or less. We might end up hitting a little bit up here with the spray or actually for sure we will whenever we spray this, but that's okay. Cause I'm going to give this thing a border anyway. I have some blue and I have some orange uh, spray paint here. So let's hit it with both, right? So I'm going to hit the blue on the, the uh, orange side. There we go. Now I'm gonna empty the, or I'm gonna turn the, the can upside down. And I just held it for five seconds to clear out the nozzle. I'll switch to the orange after I give it a nice shake. I'll spray above everything to get it going. This thing is almost out. That could cause a problem. <laughs> So let me clear this out real quick. Cleared out the nozzle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this up so you can see what it looks like. And then I will take this back inside and we will finish it off. Boom. Looking a little wild, right? I could have hit it with black first and then put a, then just uh, reposition it slightly off to give it like a drop shadow. But this is pretty cool. I think it works. I'll see you guys back inside. All right, we're back. We are inside. We have this piece. It's been drawing for like five minutes. <laughs> you know me, I'm impatient. Anyway, for the most part, this is what we're left with. You can see that over here in the top and in the bottom that we have the extra spray. But like I said, let's hit this with some kind of border, either blue, black, or orange. I don't know yet. But what I was thinking, um, I, th I thought about adding splatter right? And I thought, okay, splatter could be cool, but what if we, instead of doing splatter, why don't, because splatter is, it's already super busy, right? So why don't we just take one of these Posca markers? Where is the black one? We'll shake it up and let's just accent some of them, right? And when I say accent, I mean like give them a drop shadow and not in the center because like I said, there's gonna be some kind of uh, character here. So let's just hit some of the ones in the outside. And I don't know if you can tell, but I wasn't paying attention when I did this and it should have been the other way. But the reason that I did the stencil backwards was because one side, the, the, the paper was ripped. So this stencil is backwards. <laughs> the Louis Vuitton is backwards. Hey, whatever, it is what it is, right? So uh, anyways, then it makes it even less, uh, Louis, right? Less problems with people complaining. Why are you using? It's not Louis. It's backwards Louis, right? So let it, it just by doing something like this. This is not outlining the whole thing. Just taking little pieces, right? Um, maybe if we come here like this, maybe like this, something like that. Maybe here. Maybe, and then maybe if we keep it the same, right? How I did down there. And then let's just get a couple more of them. Hmm. Maybe this one. I don't know, the bottom. And then the top left side. And maybe we do that here. 
And maybe like that, right? Maybe we say no more. We don't even know. Maybe the character is gonna go over this. I don't even know which direction. Uh, maybe we have it like this. Maybe we have it backwards and upside down. Now what, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's hit a couple of these over here. I'm gonna follow a, oops, a similar uh, what we did over there. So this, and then up like this. Where's another one? This one. Right, this inside piece, boom, and maybe this one too, and this. But remember, there's going to be a border around this. We don't know what it's going to be yet, but we shall see. So like this, maybe this one. And what I'm trying to do, like I said, is do the ones on the outside because there will be a character here. So we don't know yet what it's gonna look like. And let's maybe do this one. And I don't know, is that good? Maybe one more here, right? But again, that's probably gonna get covered. So maybe that's worthless. Let's do one or two on this side. So like this. Um, here, and then, t -t 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 -t. yeah, let's just leave that, and then maybe here, and again, if I drew the character, I might come back and do a few more later, after I draw the character and say, hey, you know, we went over some that, uh, so we don't have as many highlights, and maybe we want some more. I'm calling these highlights, but really what are they? They're just, uh, I don't know, accents. Right like this, and then on the outside here. So something like that, right? Let's turn this puppy back around, bada bing, bada boom. And so I think the background's done, right? Minus the, the border. And the border we will save to the end because maybe it covers the character, maybe it doesn't. Um, uh, this is from the outside, I don't know what that is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we don't know yet. So I don't usually paint the border until I know what, what is happening, right? So I think now we have the background. What do you guys think? I hope you like it. Let me show you before we go, I did another one of these, right? However, using the same stencil, it did not stick to this board as well as it did here. And you notice this under or underspray, overspray, whatever you wanna call it, is very pronounced on this one. Plus I only did it in black. I didn't use copper, I used silver, and then I used two different purples for the washes. And so, yeah, so we've got these two different boards. I'm gonna paint them differently. I haven't decided yet exactly what uh, is gonna go on them, but I have two ideas, so let's see. Uh, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Please share it with your friends. You have no idea how much it helps. I really appreciate it. And if you have questions or you've done one of the things from one of my tutorials, please share a link so I can check it out. I'm more than interested. Guys, until next time, I'm out.